The first major obstacle you must overcome is society's opinion on porn. Mainstream opinion says that adult content is healthy, normal and even positive for a man's life, but nothing could be further from the truth. Therefore, I highly suggest you keeping your nofap practice strictly to yourself. If you go around saying to your friends that you're quitting porn because it's bad, they will probably convince you that porn is healthy. This will just make quitting this addiction harder, so I think it's wise to stay quiet. Instead, educate yourself, come to your own conclusions and you'll eventually realize that society's point of view about porn is completely twisted. The time will come when everyone sees adult content as the new cigarettes, but for now, keep your nofap practice strictly to yourself and nofap's online forums. The second obstacle is the lack of barriers to watch porn nowadays. Back when I became addicted to adult content, I needed a huge computer, which was in the living room by the way, and a very slow internet connection to watch adult content. This made it hard to watch because I needed to make sure no one was home when I wanted to watch and the images and videos took years to load. But now it's completely different. You can watch hardcore videos on your phone without leaving your bed. Every day new videos are created which just increases the already existing endless supply of adult content. To make things worse, your brain can't differentiate between an adult content video and a real woman and that's why it's so hard to quit this addiction. This is why I highly suggest you use a porn blocker like Covenant Eyes. Covenant Eyes is currently helping millions of men quit porn for good and I want you to become one of them. Fortunately for you, I've partnered with Covenant Eyes and today I want to give you a 30-day free trial to Covenant Eyes. Simply click the link in the description and use promo code IMPROVEMENT when you sign up, brother. The third obstacle is lust. Lust can be best described as a very strong sexual desire. See, it's normal to have sexual urges and desires to be intimate with someone you find attractive, but there's a huge difference between wanting intimacy and lusting after someone. When you want intimacy, you desire the other person emotionally, physically and spiritually. When you lust after someone, you dehumanize her and eliminate all her human qualities and instead see her as a piece of meat. Adult content creates lust in the human mind. It's specifically designed to exploit this animalistic drive every human has. I would argue that you need to win two battles. The first one is against the pixels on a screen. The second one is against your own mind and its insane sexual desire due to consuming too much adult content. The fourth obstacle are all the withdrawal effects of quitting adult content. As with any addiction, it's normal to experience intense withdrawal symptoms when you finally quit adult content for an extended period of time. The most common withdrawal effects are mood swings, fatigue, low libido, boredom and severe brain fog. Most men panic when they experience these effects and they immediately go back to porn to feel normal again. Sadly, this just resets their progress back to zero and keeps them stuck in the cycle they desperately want to escape. The best way to cope with these symptoms is to see them as natural and realize that they will eventually pass. They are the price you must pay for being addicted to adult content for so long. The fifth obstacle is the sexualization of social media. Honestly, it makes me sad to see so many young girls sexualizing themselves on social media just to get attention. It's sad to see so many women showing their body because they desperately crave male validation. Ironically, these same women are the ones who complain that all men are pigs, but this is a topic for another video. Men are also hurt by this behavior. For the male brain, a woman sticking out their butt on Instagram is real. It believes that woman is in front of him and is receptive to a sexual encounter. But since she is not real and not receptive, the man looks for a sexual release, usually in the form of PMO. 
This explains why most relapses can be traced back to spending too much time on social media. Do yourself a favor and stay away as much as you can from these platforms. Brother, if you're deeply struggling to quit porn, today I want to invite you to the free training that my awesome friend Josh Hudson is hosting. Josh is a certified therapist specializing in porn addiction and he has more than 10,000 hours of practice helping men quit porn forever. Inside the Josh's free training, you'll learn his HCT method to quit porn within 7 days. You can watch this free training completely free by simply clicking the link below this video, brother. You will also get access to his urge control method and his step-by-step -step quit porn checklist. This sounds amazing, right? Well, make sure to click that link right now.